going back to the ancient Greeks, there's always been two different understandings of well-being. The predominant one is called hedonic well-being, and that's only about having more positive than negative experiences. So it's about having as many happy, joyful, proud moments as you can, and trying to minimize times where you're anxious, sad, distressed. Almost everyone I know, their level of hedonic well-being has taken a hit. It's inevitable that we feel more anxious, we feel more sad, we have a sense of loss about the activities we were hoping to do. We have a sense of loss about the people we're not able to visit with. So there's more negative emotions. But there's a different kind of well-being. And this is the one that Aristotle talked about. He thought it was more important. It's called eudaimonia. And it's about developing yourself. And quite often it's measured in terms of whether you see your life as meaningful and purposeful. And that kind of well-being isn't so much affected by bad things that happen in your life. In fact, sometimes a bad thing can happen and it can give you a different perspective and you can find new meaning and purpose. And I think the pandemic offers us the opportunity to find new meaning and purpose. An astronaut who's a Quebec hero, uh, David St. Jacques, uh, gave an interview to McGill University in which he described how he's coping. And he has a lot of experience because he spent 206 days on the, uh, uh, up in space and he had to quarantine for a month before and a month after. So he recommends four or five main things. Uh, the number one thing, and I think this is something I had to realize is we need to find meaning and purpose in what we're doing. As an astronaut who's going to be in space for almost a full year, he reminds himself of the mission he's on and why it's important and how he's committed to it. And he suggests we should think of the mission that we have to make sure that we maintain our social distance, to make sure we wear our mask, and the reason we're doing this is to protect ourselves, but even more importantly, to protect other people. And that's something that definitely gives us a sense of purpose and meaning. And there's research which suggests that when you help other people, it not only makes them feel better, it makes us feel better, and it gives us a sense of meaning. So <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but I hadn't thought of that. But since I saw his talk, I thought of someone who was important in my life many years ago and who's older and he's in a, a facility for older people and I call him every week and I send him emails and we have a relationship again and I'm, I'm pretty sure he likes it but it's really meant a lot to me. And I think all of us can find uh, some people who we can help uh, and we can get in touch with people from the past and that's a way of kind of coping with our current situation, but also adding meaning and purpose. So I, I would recommend thinking about that as well.